imagine waking up like this with the sun all in your face. It's like... <sighs> yes, I'm black and vampire. Anyway, <laughs> it is Sunday morning to my real shenanigans. Hey, how's it going? What I look like, I'm not even looking at the camera. Okay, there we go. Um, I don't know, I guess it's the angle I have my phone. Um, I was going to save all my homework to do today, but I did two assignments out of three. So all I have left is one more assignment, which is easy. It's just a reflection on the whole course of the semester. And I'm going to check out the extra credit. If the extra credit is an, is an essay, I'm, I'm going to do it. It's always good to do extra credit because you never know. what It could count towards making your percentage of your grade higher and better. And better. Um, hold on. That was my nephew. Anyway, as you guys can see, I did end up vacuuming the room floor. And I also ended up changing where I wanted everything. Because... Oh, Cal Purse Mill. Anyway, um, I ended up moving my shoe rack right here. This is where my shoe rack is now. And it was over here in this corner. Um, this little this little dude was right here in the middle. This, my dirty clothes hamper, was over there. Don't mean to make y'all sick. And I, I was going to move this right here, over there. But I said, no. Uh -uh. Um, plus, I did vacuum the room floor last night. I'm going to have to vacuum again because... I decided to eat some caramel popcorn and wasted the corner, the last little bit with all the, the corn, with the crumbs and all that, I wasted on my bed. And so I just did one of these numbers like that and just put it all on the floor in this area right here. So I'm going to have to vacuum again, which I don't have no problem with doing that. Um, I forgot about my ginger ale, so it's now thawing out. I did have a bowl of cereal. I'm not really big on eating breakfast. I'm really not a big, huge breakfast eater. I don't know why. I know it's a very important meal of the day, and it's brain food, especially if I'm about to do homework and all that. Or just period. I'm just not big on eating breakfast. And if I do eat breakfast, I don't finish it all. And I end up getting sick because I'm forcing myself to eat in the mornings when I really can't. I can do protein shakes or a smoothie in the mornings, but just a straight up breakfast? No, I can't. Mm -mm. I can't do that. So, um... But I did finish my cereal. So, but I didn't drink the milk. But I finished my cereal. Um, what else do I have planned today besides doing homework? Pretty much nothing, you guys. I think yesterday was a busy day. Not that I wanted it to be. I just did things I didn't have to do, but I went ahead and did them anyway. Um, like taking pictures for a website, stuff like that. And I did some homework. And I was going to save my homework for today. But originally, my homework was supposed to be done yesterday because I told myself. My homework was actually supposed to be due before the weekend. I wanted to do my homework before the weekend even got here so I can just chill out on the weekend, sleep in, do whatever I want to do. Um, and that's pretty much it. I did have to glue some of my nails back on or back together because they were lifting kind of badly. So I decided to um, glue them. Eventually, I'm going to have to just take them off, maybe do my own set. I showed you guys the Kiss nail kit that I got. I might end up seeing if I can do something with that. But I would feel so much better if I had the primer for, before I put the monomer on. I want that primer primer polishing they put on first. And then I want the um, drill. Because how am I going to do a fill if I have gel? These are gel right now. They need to be done with their gel. And I have to glue, like I said, glue my nails back on. As you can see, the shiny, gluey mess. You see that glue mess? It's like my pinky has heart glue on it. I had to like tape it twice. I mean, you had to like glue it down like twice because it was messy. And I really don't want to get rid of this because of the shape, but at least I know where to go to get this done again because they have this shape. But I, I don't want to get rid of it right now. They closed down the nose shops again. I think I might end up calling today to see what I can do because if I can go in and get a feel with no gel, it's going to be cheaper. It's probably going to be like maybe close to $30, maybe $25, um, which would be great because um, I don't know. Get my nails done again will, will be my Christmas gift to myself. I was going to get my stepped in pairs for Christmas, but I'm deciding to wait later to do that. Um, I do have mail. I need to I need to start going through my mail right now because when it's time for me to move, I don't want to be going through all those papers and papers of mail. Is this important? No, let me shred this. Is that important? Because I took a whole bunch of papers to work before I move. Um, 
from living with my sister in the valley. I took a whole bunch of old papers and unimportant papers to work with me, and I used a shredder that was in the office. Now, it may be illegal to do that, but I don't know anything about it being illegal. But I know that anything that had my social security card on it, I took a marker and I blacked it out all the way until the paper was tearing. So, that's not going to happen. But anyway, so yeah. I don't have nothing important that's planned today. I just want to see what this mail is real quick. Cow purrs. Anyway, that's pretty much it. It's going to be a lazy Sunday. Unless we take a trip somewhere, like to the Dollar Tree or something. It's pretty much going to be a lazy Sunday. Um, I don't know what this is. Um, yeah. Retirement system. I wonder why sometimes they be sending me... Um, But I need an envelope for this. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah. I guess they want me to put my new address down. Whatever. I'll take care of all this later because I don't want to be on the camera just reading while y'all looking at me like, so are you going to say something? So... <laughs> Hey everybody, it is Roshi Ball. I just made an appointment to get my nails fixed tomorrow, feel and all of that. I'm going to tell them no jail so I can come here and pay my own nails and change them every week or whatever I got to do, just as long as they fix them. I still want the same length, the same size, the same shape, everything, but just no gel. I'm going to tell them just clear so I can come home and pay my own nails. And then I'm going to show y'all what I did. So, um, but that's my appointment for tomorrow. My appointment is at 11 and they took my name down, which is good. Cause some places that I've made an appointment at before never took my name down, but somehow they just knew it was me still. I don't know, I keep seeing things in the corner of my eye, but they knew it was me. So whatever. But, um, I just been in here watching, um, oh, I just been in here watching, um, Freddy Krueger. And I finished all my homework for the whole semester. I didn't have to do extra credit because the extra credit was pretty much about if you have met with a tutor twice during this whole semester, you get extra credit. If you went to any of the meetings or events that they was having online, you get extra credit. So since I didn't do any of that stuff, because 90% of the time I knew what I was doing and the help that I needed, my classmates or my professor helped me, I didn't have to do extra credit. So I guess I missed out on that because I didn't meet up with a tutor. Um, maybe I should have, so maybe this next semester I'll do, try to make sure I just get my little tutoring in, even if I don't need it, but just to gain the extra credit, you know, it works with you, not against you. But anyway, um, right now out of a hundred percent of the semester, I got 91.33. So I'm looking to pass the class with a good 95 at least. I don't want to pass it. I don't want to be in the sixties, the seventies or the eighties. So I'm hoping to you, Lord Jesus Christ, my dear Lord, daddy, God, Please let me pass this class with at least a good 95 point something. Please, Lord, in Jesus' name, amen. So, yes, um, that's that with the homework. I made the nail appointment, so I'm just pretty much going to chill for the rest of the day and maybe look for a little small part-time job to go along with the one that I have now. Um, I really want something overnight. Um... Cause I don't want to put my eggs in one basket. I'm really, I really want to be a custodian at this one detention center place out here, but they only called me for an interview over the phone like a month ago. And I'm thinking, okay, Hmm. When am I going to begin to call back? And my mom was saying sometimes with jobs like that, especially that's that good. It takes a while for them to get back at you. I'm like, okay, but I'm checking my emails. I'm stalking. Cra I'm, I've been calling them too. And the line just been busy, but I've been calling, 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 like, so, um, was I supposed to call you, or you was supposed to call me, or was I supposed to be sending an email about the background check, or getting a call about the background check, I don't know, I'm just, <laughs> you know, because my mom told me a long time ago, if it's something you want, you have to go after that person, like, you know, or go after that thing, about it, in my mind, it keep looking like it's red right here, I was itching up a storm right here, I don't know where the, those rashes came from, it's probably the weather or something. That's the only thing I can think of because the little rash that I had right here was because of that necklace I wore on Thanksgiving. And then all of a sudden the rash started coming up here. I'm thinking, uh, 
yeah what is this then it started going right here then it started getting a rash all right here and now up here it started itching real bad so i put some of that gold bond lotion that i got let me show you I put some of this on and it's starting to cool it down. It's not really as itchy anymore because I'm not really big on putting lotion on my body or my skin after I get out the shower because I feel if I'm wearing pants, I'm going to put lotion on my legs. Ain't nobody going to see them. I'm just going to show my, I'm just going to put lotion on my ankles and my feet. That's it. And my hands. I don't put lotion on my arms either or my back or my shoulders. Nothing because I feel like I'm at home. I'm chilling. But now because I don't want no alligator raggedy skin. I'm putting this on. I'm putting lotion on. I'm putting, well, you know, I don't do oils. I do more of coconut type shea butter, thick Crisco filling type lotions of coconut oil. If I have some, I'll do some charcoal based, coconut oil based stuff. A lot of shea moisture, shea butters and using the soap that I use helps too. Like I have, um, I'm switching over to a lot of shea moisture, Carol's Daughters type uh soaps and stuff now for my skin because i really want to change unless i have absolutely positively no soap at all in my bath basket or anywhere else then i'll go ahead and use a couple of the emergency hard time soap that i have which is i have uh two boxes of irish spring and i have um irish spring charcoal as well now since i like charcoal based stuff i may use that one soon but right now i want to make sure all my carol's daughters lotion is so i want to stick with those type of soaps because my skin needs that. I have a very sensitive skin. I can't even wear earrings for too long because I start going like this because it itches. I'm like, forget it. And I'll take it out. So I can't wear too many earrings. Um, I've been itching right here. So I'm trying to wash. Is it the braces that I'm wearing? Because if so, I got to um, do something about that. I don't know. I'm going to put a little lotion on my wrist. So I scratched it. This don't really have a smell. Um... But it's, the, it's this one. My sister was telling me about this one. And I said, does it work for sensitive skin? She was like, yes. And she was saying, people that have diabetes, they can use this. And it will stop them from getting dry skin. Because I guess if you have diabetes, you get dry skin a lot. For me, I get dry skin because it's just the weather. You see what I'm saying? And I get little fine red looking bumps that later on turns ashy. And I have a patch of ash right here. A patch of ash right there. One time I had a scab right here. And my sister gave me some Eucerin. That thing was gone. Like when the next day or a couple days or whatever. So um, I'm going to start going back using Eucerin too. Because that really helped with my dry skin as well. And I also need to start using some medicated healing type lotions too. Because I, I wake up in the middle of the night and just scratch my neck. I'm like, ugh. Yeah, it's just uncomfortable. And I don't like it. You know, the feeling that you can't really scratch like you want to. Plus these nails are kind of dull. So I take a brush. Okay, which is not good for your skin to do that. But I take a brush and I go to town i pack my bags and get out of town with that because and then it feels great so um because <laughs> i'm really really scratching that itch and i don't want to neglect like the area that i'm putting lotion on right now which is the boobs because that gets pretty ashy around the areola part as well so i always it's like i'm not really good at moisturizing my skin but i need to do that not because i'm black not only because i'm black because number one it's my skin again it's like i was saying about the nails i have to wear it so i have to take care of that my hair nails and skin and teeth okay let's, let's not get that twisted teeth is a part of health and beauty as well okay because you don't want to eat a whole bunch of shrimp scampi like I did and be talking to y'all with hot breath. It's dog near Christmas time and our breath smell like Halloween. What's up with that? You know what I mean? So I want to make sure that I take care of those things. While I put lotion on my other boob. Not trying to get it, give y'all any X-rated stuff. I know with YouTube is very strict now. But I feel like let me go ahead and do this now before I forget. Because I will get off camera with y'all and just go chill and i'm like oh shoot i was supposed to put lotion on my bibs but i never did i can't really reach my back this is as far as i go with my back unless i ask my mom or my sister can you put some lotion in the middle of my back please and, and don't get fresh no i'm just kidding um but yes so i think i'm gonna stick with this from now on out and i'm gonna keep on using the soaps that i've been using because i don't know if it has some kind of my favorite the soap, it seemed like the soap, let me finish what I was saying. It seemed like the soap has some kind of, I don't know if the, the, the little bally things into it that scrubs your skin for you. 
And also, too, I don't know if it has some kind of medicated healing, calming stuff in it. Like, the, my favorite Carol's Daughter soap is the, it's like an almond oatmeal cookie bar. That has like a little, like, bally stuff in it or whatever, a little rough stuff. And I love that. And I like the way it smells. It's very light. And I use, sometimes I use the black bars of soap. And sometimes I use, like, a, like I got the... Um, it's like a peach rose one that I use. I'm still going to use a lot of rose products too for um, the Vajon. The rose stuff for, you know, like Yoni soaps, Yoni soaps, you know. I'm going to use that for down there as well. Didn't mean to have a long conversation about health and beauty with you guys, but this is the type of stuff that I like to talk about because I want to start getting into it. If I can take care of my nails... If I can always do something to my hair, I'm going to take care of my skin and my teeth and my face and my dates and all kind of other stuff. Because I sure don't want no big old huge monster Mondo burger bumps on my face. Looking like space cases or somebody from Star Trek. I don't want to look like that. So, I'm going to start using my cream every single day. Sometimes I use soap to wash my face and sometimes I use apricot scrub to make sure I get all of the impurities of that old makeup I missed off. I need that little brush thing that goes zzz. Eventually, I'm going to buy that, but right now... I can't afford it right now. But if I see one at Dollar Tree, I may pick it up. Just use what I have until I get the real thing. I'm big on faking it till I'm making it. But more of use what you have until you can find something better. You know, I guess that falls on the category of faking it till I'm making it. So, but anyway, you guys, that's pretty much all I have. Um, that's pretty much all I have today. So, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all of you. And I'll see you on my next one. Thank you.